I'm here in Folsom, California at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery, operated by California Department of Fish and Game. I'm here to see the tagging process for salmon. The tagging process is even more important today because there's been a mysterious decline in the salmon population. Alice, can you tell us a little bit about the department's tagging program for the salmon fish? Sure, yeah, this program has been under development since 1998 and we've been working with several other agencies to develop this program and the objective of the program is to mark and coded wire tag 25 percent of our production releases of fall run Chinook salmon from all the Central Valley hatcheries so that we have a coordinated consistent tagging program from year to year and the program is going to allow us to track these fish from the hatchery uh, throughout their life cycle through the ocean fishery the inland fishery and then on their return to the hatchery and the rivers we're going to be able to track the um, hatchery reared salmon throughout their whole life cycle figure out more what's going on with these salmon populations oh wow look at that Braden, can you show me a little bit about what's going on here? Yeah, uh, you guys were just outside. You saw the external fish pump that's sucking fish from the raceway. They come through the hose. There's a dewatering device right there, and that's how all the fish from the raceways enter the trailer. So the fish come into here. There's another uh, fish pump that's mounted on the bottom outside corner of this trough right here. You see this valve cycling open and closed. And what's happening here is there's a camera looking down at each one of these white trays. Oh, wow, okay. So these cameras, this image right here, that's these two images that we're getting right here. And so those cameras are just measuring density, the black versus the white. So this fish pump is cycling on and off based on the density to maintain a constant density of fish in there. This whole mechanism here is the sorter. So uh, what's happening here is there's a, a camera in each one of these black boxes. And again, if you come over here, it's taking an image of every single fish that goes down, and it uses an equation to calculate the overall total length of the fish within a tenth of a millimeter. Wow. Um, and that equation is to account for curvature of the fish so that it gets a straight length on it. Okay. So, and in this particular case, we're only marking, or clipping and tagging the 25%. Uh, and so 75% of these fish that are coming through the trailer are just getting imaged, counted, and they go right back out to the pond. And what's happening on this one is that half of what goes through that side is sorted to the lines. That's where the 25% comes from. And the other half of that side goes out to the pond. There's six of the automated lines. Okay. And as I mentioned, this sorter is sorting them for size. So these six lines are set up for different sized fish. Anything that's too big or too small to do on the automated lines goes to the back of the trailer. My trailer assistant, she'll have to do those manually. So she'll manually clip and tag those fish. So each line has its own camera and those TV monitors up there. What that is, that's just an inverted image of the fish. That's the clipper going and clipping the adipose fin. There's a sensor on the top of the Smart Core. When the snout of the fish is detected, a set of clamps, which I'll show you a set of clamps. So what happens is that sensor triggers, the clamps gently come together to hold the fish in place. And then there's these other little pads right here that are called belly lifters. And the idea behind that is so that it arches the fish's back so that the adipose fin sticks up very well so that it can go down and get a good clean clip. And then the camera on the line takes two images of every single fish. So well, here's the first image where it's finding the center point of the adipose fin. So that's where it's finding the X and Y coordinates so the clipper knows where to go to clip the fin. And then there's after it clips it. If the fish flips its tail or it's the wrong size fish, uh, that fish will get rejected. Each line has a reject tank. If it didn't get clipped or tagged properly, it gets rejected. Same thing, she'll do them in the back uh, to make sure all 25% of the fish that are supposed to be clipped and tagged do get clipped and tagged. Would a tagged fish, would it be visibly identifiable as anything different? The adipose fin will be missing. Okay. You know what the adipose fin is? I can yeah. grab a fish. And... Yeah, but if you can show me, yeah. Yeah. So this one right here is missing the fin right there. This one here still has it. And that one fin missing indicates it's a tag? Yep. And it's so fast. Pretty much instantaneous. I think it takes 2.1 seconds to actually process a fish between the clip and tag. What happened? 
happens uh, on these lines is the machine, there's a hollow needle that it clips or cuts off a 1.1 millimeter long piece of this wire, and that's what's injected into the snout of the fish. Basically, my best analogy for this is it's a six digit numerical code. So if you look under a microscope at this wire, it just repetitively says that over and over and over. This wire is actually like giving a specific group of fish a social security number. Do you put the whole fish under a microscope and how do you no, see it? No, they'll cut the snout off and then send it to a lab where they'll actually dissect the snout until they retrieve this tag. Okay. Look at it under a microscope and they can tell you this fish came from an infant fish hatchery, was released at this time. All the information there is to know about that fish. This technology was developed over the years by Northwest Marine Technology in Washington State. It's used throughout the Northwest to mark and tag Chinook salmon and steelhead. It's a very unique technology. It allows us to mark and tag many, many millions of fish in a very short period of time. Previously, with our hand tagging, uh, we weren't able to mark and tag a great number of our fall run Chinook salmon production releases. Through this technology, it allows us in a very short time period in the spring months to mark and tag. We're going to be processing a total of 32 million fish this year through these tagging trailers. And it's going to give us the numbers of fish marked and tagged that we need to really be able to tell what's going on with these populations. I'd like to thank the California Department of Fish and Game for giving us this opportunity to see the hatchery. For GTTV, I'm Chad Vanderveen. Thanks for watching.